Hello, 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 hello. Okay. We are recording. Uh, I don't want to mess up my hair. <laughs> so, okay. How are we feeling? Okay. We look nice. We look great. Okay. Do we look washed out? Um, maybe in like a good way that hides our imperfections. Ooh. Yeah. I love that. 20 questions or 20 minutes, whichever comes first, as long as it's you. This is You Go First. I'm your host, Blair Payton. We have 20 questions in a vase. My guests will draw the first question and we'll go back and forth covering as much ground in 20 minutes. The timer begins after the first question is read. My guest today is a member of the NYC sketch group Sister Wives, and she recently just released her debut... Deb, mm. Boy, I fucked it up. I'm going to try it again. Her debut LP entitled Spirit Fear. Please help me welcome comedian, writer, musician, Heather Cook. woo <laughs> It me, it me, everybody. Can I just tell, when I was writing out your intro, I was like, I looked up your album. Because for yeah. some reason, I kept, and even I read the title, and I thought it said Spitfire. Spitfire. Uh, no, Spirit Fear. Okay. At, at our shows, we took a bunch of beer cans and we wrote uh, Spirit Beer on them and gave them out for free. Oh, okay. There's a lot you can do there. Oh my gosh, <laughs> you are so clever. That's where the writer yes. comes in. Absolutely, yes. So wait, why do you call it Spirit Fear? I called it Spirit Fear. Uh, I guess that, well, that word, I guess I just kind of made up. Okay. Um, combine these two words, I think both mean a lot to me like spiritual stuff over the past couple of years has been pretty defining for me and yeah. then because you have a so tattoo you, on your foot i do it's <laughs> 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 i have a tattoo on my foot that says god it's a stick and poke but it's rubbed off over the years so now it says goo mm -hmm. both are very meaningful to me right because you know we have in some sort of fashion experienced goo in our life you know? Yes. And it's good to reflect on that sometimes. It is. Allergy season. I'm a goopy gal. Oh, my God. Yeah. You taught, You brought it together. Okay, now where does the fear come in? <laughs> I'm scared of everything. Okay. <laughs> easy, easy enough. Easy, easy. And um, so, yeah, where can you listen? Is your Because I know your album's on Spotify. Yeah, it's on Spotify, Bandcamp, pretty much all the streaming services online for what free. What is Bandcamp? Bandcamp is like the emo version of Spotify and SoundCloud. Okay, so would you say it's kind of like, is MySpace still around? Because they went all music a couple years ago. Oh, goodness gracious, I'm not sure. I've been trying to hack into my MySpace account for a long time, because uh, I want to remember who my top eight were, but I can't get in. Were you... Okay, when you had it, would you constantly, like, adjust your top eight? <laughs> oh, yeah. If I wasn't in someone else's top eight, they could not be in my top eight. Oh, 100%. Would ro a ro rotating cast of characters. But then it got kind of crazy where you could, like, do top 10 and then top 15. Yeah. I think that was on the downward slide of MySpace. I think so, yeah. I got too, uh, too vast. It was the, in like, exclusiveness that kept exactly. it afloat. Now, for those of you who aren't familiar with MySpace, that... <laughs> It, it actually predates Facebook. Yeah. Because it came out in 2003, and I think Facebook was, was 2004. I wonder what Tom's up to. I kind of... what is he on Twitter? I don't know. I feel like he was very recluse. Tom was the... Um, he was the one who ran uh, MySpace. He yeah. was the creator. And when you signed up, he was your first friend. And it was that same picture yeah. of him just like looking at a whiteboard, <laughs> but like looking back and he was all sweaty with a white t-shirt on. It was something else. I wonder what he's doing now. Yeah, I wonder if he made a lot of money too. for that. Probably. But we don't want to talk about MySpace. Yeah. Yep. Um, <laughs> Screw that. Screw that. We want to talk about your singing career. <laughs> So you've had so how's the response been to your first album? I would say the response has been really good. I've mm -hmm. re received a lot of support uh, from friends and family. Uh, it's interesting on Spotify you can see the demographics of like who is listening to your music. Ooh. Yes, you can see. And a couple countries, Italy and Sweden, I have like a group of random listeners in both of those countries, which is like, huh, I wonder how this landed out there. Um, so it's well, cool. It's if good. you had blonde hair, I would say you would read Swedish. 
Oh, really? Oh, oh. thank you, thank you. You're welcome. Do you think if I had um, uh, high praise, high praise right. in, in to tea. be Swede, yeah. uh, if I had brown eyes, do you think I could read as Italian? Probably. Well, I'm offended. Do Italians, <laughs> I'm trying to think of like the general stereotypes. They mostly have a good tan, right? Yeah, I Not guess to call so. you pale, but like, but, yeah. light reflects us. <laughs> yeah. So, no, what I wanted to ask you, because I wanted to save it for the show. Fantastic. Because I wanted to do this when I came to see you in Brooklyn when you performed, but I wanted to try and hold up Shazam and see if it would like acknowledge your singing. But have you done that with like, oh, like if you Shazam. play it on. Yeah. I, okay, it's cool you bring that up because I actually have been meaning to do that. So on, I like pay a distribu a distributor to put on all the music. Okay. Uh, and it's like an extra fee to get it on Shazam. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm just cheap, so I haven't done it yet, but I should. Is it like super expensive? I think it's like $2. <laughs> like for the year? Um, yeah. I mean, you don't have to go into specifics. I'm but. not sure. I don't know why I was feeling so cheap at the time, but I should get it out there. Yeah, you should because there's that game show, Beat Shazam. So what if what if your song came up on Beat Shazam? Whew. What if? What if, indeed. You're really putting things into perspective, Blair. Um, also, we are in the sketch group together, Sister Wives. Yes, we're in Sister Wives. We have a lot of good stuff mm -hmm. coming up we're really excited about. And we are going to a festival, but we haven't officially announced it, so depending on when this show comes yeah. out, you may know already, and if you don't, then... Can we say it? I don't know. Yeah, let's just fucking say it. I mean, it's not like I have... We're going to Scotland, baby! Actually, you know what? I think I... You know what? I did I mention. know. I listened to one of your episodes I already and you mentioned, mentioned it. it. Okay. <laughs> Guys, Alzheimer's may start soon. Hey, so. that's fine. But yeah, we're going to Edinburgh. Or Borough. Borough. It's misleading because <laughs> there is an O pronounced at the end. That's true. But it ends with a GH. Edinburgh. Tits uh. out for the barrow. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we're like we're trying to get our show together. Mm -hmm. uh, it's going to be a week in August, and that's gonna, I'm yeah. so excited. I've never been to Edinburgh. Me neither. I'm really excited. Um, it's wild because before that trip, I'm going on another trip with friends from college. We're going to London, Paris, and Rome. And the day oh that God. trip ends, I will be flying from Rome to Scotland to do this, and I think I'll be the most tired I've ever been. Well, yeah, and we're trying to still like nail down what we're doing for the show, what the theme is, and everything, and we haven't done that yet, but we gotta figure it out, so then that way we can rehearse it, so then, because we won't see you for a week, and you're gonna come yeah. right in, and we got <laughs> six shows. Coming in hot. So Study those lines on the airplane. All right, so now we are going to dig in. Okay, let 20. me get the timer ready. Oh my ready. God. I love that I make my guests Bring, we use their equipment. <laughs> Happy to help. Okay. I'll be charging you for my assistance. Okay, so I'm going to start the timer. Okay. So you draw the first question. All right, here we go. As soon as you read it, we're going to begin. Okay. Here we go. Oh, goodness gracious, Blair. Okay. Glass half full or half empty? <laughs> timer begins now. Please. Well, Please. I know that. I mean, that's kind <laughs> of like anyone who just like listened to this first couple of minutes, they probably yeah. are like, yeah, glass full. Glass full. I'm but do you ever have a glass full. empty moment? I feel like... Half empty? Oh, goodness. I think we all do. Yeah. I when was the last do. time your glass was half empty? Oh, my gosh. I think I'm going through some stuff like that right now because mm -hmm. my rent has been increasing by a lot over the year. The mm -hmm. company that like owns our building increased our rent mid-lease, which I don't even think is legal and it really put me in a negative spot but i'm you know i'm hanging in there trying to you, are you gonna positive. move because you have a nice place i love my place i don't want to move but we'll see because you're in what section is it not hamilton heights washington Heights. washington it was some heights in the heights yeah she is uh 100 manhattan i am yes i'm manhattan. still stuck in brooklyn because <laughs> i'm poor <laughs> but that's, a, that's why my cup is half empty <laughs> <laughs> is it really a you don't strike me as an empty dude. Um, I, I fluctuate. Okay. Um, it. I would say I lean more towards half empty, but I'm sure. pretty good about masking it. So, yeah. Cool. All right, next question. All right, next question. Here we go. <sighs> That's one thing about drinking soft drinks when we do this. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> nice one, bro. Okay. Pick someone you know and describe them in five words. Oh, Oh, okay. five. Okay, I have two people that come to mind. 
excuse me, I gotta got this uh, burps coming up. Um, hmm. Oh God, this is hard. Okay, I'm gonna. Okay, I'll I'll do my sister. Okay. That's this. That's the safest one. Um. I'll do my sister Heidi. She is funny. Yeah. Unhinged. <laughs> um. Stupid. Uh, uh, I would I'll say uh, smart and Mexican. She's not Mexican, but she loves Mexican. So then, as it goes, she's Mexican. Oh, I guess so. I I mean, That's how it works she out. eats it so much. I guess she would be Mexican because she can say stuff like. Uh, uh, I was gonna say aloha, but that's Hawaiian. You know what? I don't know a lot of Spanish, you guys. Blair, you I are know officially shocking. canceled. <laughs> you what, are wait, canceled. what is what is hello? Why can't I think? Why do I keep saying hola? Guys, I think I'm going through. Something. You are canceled. <laughs> Oof, that's embarrassing. Um, okay. I'm gonna do my dad. Okay. I'm gonna use other people to describe my dad. So my words are going to be. Names of other people. Okay. Oh, okay. Hank Williams. Johnny Cash. <laughs> End of list. <laughs> Sweet, fatherly, <laughs> talented. I got two names in there. So wait, is does does your dad sing? Yes, my dad is such a good singer. He has like a very kind of. Uh, Deep, like old country voice. He can do yeah. like bluegrass, but then he can turn it on and he can do like Phantom of the Opera songs really well. Really? Break out the vibrato. Yeah. Can um, anyone else in your family sing? Oh, yeah. My brother, Jimmy, has a really, really good singing voice. And my brother, Joey, has, yeah, pretty musical family. You should, like, you, you know, the Osmonds? Y'all should mm -hmm. just, like, go around and perform together. We used to. We used have to a family sing. band. We used to have, like, a family band in church. Okay. That was my first band. Oh Very God. punk rock, screamo songs only. You know how Methodists do it. What, like, <laughs> give me an example. Like, what song would you sing that you would scream about <laughs> Jesus? Amazing Grace. Hardcore. Wow. And you would scream it. This bit is not going very well. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I just, I wasn't sure because I was like, well, maybe they did like do like kind of like, we're gonna appeal to the youth and show them how hip we are. No, we would sing the classics. God bless America, amazing grace. Ugh. Swing low, sweet chariot. Oh, classics. Classics. Okay, draw the next question. Okay. All right, let's see how we're doing. Okay. We're already five minutes in. Oh, geez. Yeah. We gotta, let's pick up the pace Okay. Here. Who or what inspires you? Oh, that's really nice. Yeah. Who inspires you? Or what inspires you? What inspires me? Because you, you have your hands in a lot of different, um, your, like, pie hands. Yeah. Um, your hands are see. in a bunch of pies. <laughs> <laughs> that's a saying, right? Pie inspires me. Um, one thing I think I don't share with a lot of people enough is I really think my faith inspires me a lot. Okay. Uh, so I grew up in going to church and believing in God and being a Christian. And I think... Uh, for a lot of people growing up, that was like they were dragging their feet. But for me, mm -hmm. I really took uh, an interest in it, and I found a lot of uh, creative inspiration. Just this idea that like God is a creator, so therefore, if we're like made in the image of Him, we're creators too. And I don't know. That's always just really inspired me. When did you get your goo on your foot? That tattoo. My freshman year of college. Okay. Yeah. Also. And also. Goo inspires me. Right. It, it does. I don't want to leave goo hanging. Well, I'm just, I mean, it's so <laughs> great that, you know, your faith inspires you and then yeah. they got you got the tattoo. But, like, the thought of getting a tattoo, because <laughs> I'm very passionate about a lot of stuff, but yeah. I just, I don't know if I could get it put on my body. Because we had this discussion. We did. We were talking about this. With two of our uh, sketch team members about tattoos. Yeah, this idea that once you have a tattoo, you're kind of, like, no longer bare. Yeah. It's, I don't know, there's like a, there's kind of this sadness, this like innocence gone there. And also, if you do something embarrassing. Yeah. Like, there's been times where I had like considered wanting to get a tattoo, but like, ugh. My luck, something would happen, and yeah. then, uh, like, they would, like, screw it up, and then it's, like, always on me, or I, I would get it and not like it. I'm, I can be indecisive. Gotcha. So. But if you had to get a tattoo. Ooh, I guess I'd get the bicep 
barbed wire. That's still oh heck yeah. yeah. I mean, it's it's so hot. It's it just so says, hot. hey. He's bad. He's bad, and he's really into wire. <laughs> <laughs> um, so what inspires yeah, me? Yeah, what inspires you? I, or who? Uh, mm, I will say other creatives inspire me. Mm-hmm. Um, also, someone who has a really good laugh. Um, I just... <laughs> Well, that would be an example of not a great laugh. Okay, gotcha. That's what so I was going So that's for. making me feel less inspired. <laughs> but no, like, um, like the first person that comes to mind is uh, my friend Rachel. And she has, like, this... It's just her laugh is so joyous and infectious. That's I don't know nice. if that inspires me, but it just... Yeah. I don't know if I if I'm talking to her on the phone and like I say something that's funny and she starts laughing. I think that kind of like, oh, okay, well let me write this down and I can use it later. So I guess it kind of leads to something else. But yeah, I, I would say other creative people. And I have a tendency to be drawn to more female um, comedians. Yeah. So yeah. That's nice. Wow, you are just pioneering a, a feminist pioneer. Blend. I am just a big old them. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> right. Okay. Next question. Uh, what is the longest you've gone without sleep? Mm. Interesting question because I am currently a uh, scotch sleep deprived. <laughs> um, the longest I've gone. So when I was in Virginia, I worked for a um, uh, like it was a group of radio stations. Yeah. So I it, I started working. It was a top forty station, K ninety two. Do you know it? Love K92. Yeah, how could you not? It's going to be my next tattoo. And actually, they wanted me, uh, when I was on air, they wanted me to have a fake name. I was like, can Blurb I? pooping. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was that. No, I was I was Ralphie for a little bit. Oh, Because, you know, I look like a Ralphie. You actually look like a Ralphie. It's cute. But it just, it, like, when it's not your name and you're like, yeah, this is, and well, okay. So I chose the <laughs> name. Because they were like, you need to have a name. I was like, well, I want to use my own name. But yeah. they were really adamant about like having like a fake name. Gotcha. So I actually chose Ralphie because of Christmas story. I was like, well, I'll do that. And then they're like, well, you need a last name. And so like the head of the company was like Malone. I was like, I love that he's so invested in a part timer on the weekend <laughs> that we're gonna give his fake name a last, like yeah. give him a last name. So I was Ralphie Malone. Wow. Because. Th- that reads, right? I think Ralphie Malone is a cute name. I think it reads with you. Malone? Eh, maybe yeah. not so much. I would see you more as like a Ralphie uh, Mick Smithins. <laughs> okay, so like a little Irish? <laughs> yeah. Is that because I'm pale? Yeah. And I dated a ginger once. Wow. Yeah. Then you're officially Irish. Oh my God. <laughs> We're learning a lot about how cultures work today. Um, I'm Ola. <laughs> <laughs> um, no. So going back, the longest I ever went. So I was. Um, so I worked. No, actually, hold up. I'm getting confused. Um, so this was like later at when I was gone to full time. I'm again. I am currently sleep deprived. So this gotcha. story may be a little washy. Um, so when I was full time, I worked overnights during the week. So I went in at midnight, and this is when they did let me use my name, okay, Blair gotcha. Payton. So I won that battle. So at midnight, Blair came on the air <laughs> when everyone was asleep. All original. I lady. won. <laughs> um, so I was on the air from twelve to five, and then at five there was a, another station in the building, and they were news talk, and so I produced their morning show. Nice. Um, so I got off at eight thirty in the morning. So working overnights in, when, in your early 20s is like the worst because like you yeah. never see anybody. So like on the weekends, I would try to flip my schedule back. So Friday, when I got off at 8.30, I would stay up all day. Dangerous. And then go to bed at night. Ugh, danger. Which this leads me to this story. So I did that. I had been up all day, all night. And then that Friday night, I was hanging out in my sister's house because I was a rager. Um, wow. And so, I don't know, it was like close to midnight. I was like, Heidi, I gotta go home. I'm sleepy. So That's I get in the car. Now, keep in mind, at this time, I had a pair of jeans that had button fly. 
Buttonfly is the worst. I this hate it. This story is awful. It's so long. <laughs> I'm trying to make it as concise as possible. Bring it back. For us, I'm, I'm getting there. Okay. Uh, it'll be worth it. Cool. So I had a pair of Buttonfly jeans, and I hated them. <laughs> so before I left her house, I went to use the bathroom, and I was so tired. I was like, I'm not even going to button my pants. It's gotcha. fine. I get in the car. I'm on my way home. I doze off for a split second, and I go off the road. But I, I recorrected, so it wasn't long, but there was a cop that saw me do it. Yikes. So, so he pulled me over. And keep in mind, I'd been up for almost, like, 24 hours. My eyes were red Oof. and bloodshot. I was, like, really yeah. tired. So he comes up, and he was like, I uh, saw so you swerve back there. And I was like... So I went to the whole explanation of totally. like, well, I work in radio. You and see my button fly pants. <laughs> <laughs> so he was, so I told him the story. He didn't believe me. He made me get out and do a sobriety. Oh. So I did it, nailed it. Of course. And he had a flashlight because it was at midnight. He had a flashlight in my face and he panned down to my crotch. <laughs> and he was like, want to explain to me what's going on here? <laughs> so I had to tell him that I was too tired to button my pants because I'd been up for 24 hours. I love that so, so much. I think he thought I was masturbating and went off the road, <laughs> which was not what happened. I was just tired. Oh, man. Okay. Well, What's the longest you <laughs> That was so long. And thank you for bearing with me for that long it ass story. It was so, uh, it was so worth it. It was maybe great, the greatest great, story great, I've great. ever heard. Okay. Longest you've been up. 48 hours, no explanation. Just kidding. I okay. had uh, a... <laughs> <laughs> Meth. Um, I had a little bit of insomnia my freshman year in college because mm -hmm. it was just like an anxious time. I had yeah. trouble sleeping. That was it. I remember just sometimes watching the sun come up and being like, dang, I cannot sleep in this tiny dorm room. And what? And you finally just crashed, like, or... After, Did you have to like force after yourself to 40 go? days and 40 <laughs> nights. <laughs> well, like, was it like one of those things where you crashed, or did you have to like force yourself to sleep? I would really have to force it. Really? It was like, yeah, a couple months like that of just feeling like sleepless, like a zombie. Um, but it's all good. I survived. So glad. Thanks, Blair. Well, if it ever happens again, I tell you. <laughs> the generic version of Zequil from Walgreens is delicious. I use Zequil now. Uh -huh. It's tasty. I want to find, I wish Welch's made fruit snacks in the Zequil flavor. 100%. Right? It's so good. It's so good. Because I'm like, one cup is not enough because I get the liquid yeah. form and it's delicious. The taste of a deep slumber. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, shall we? All right, next question. Okay, okay. Okay, I'm gonna going to check the time. time. Oh, okay. Let's, oh, shit. Can we do a speed round? How long round? was that story? <laughs> <laughs> we have five minutes left. Uh, can we do a speed round? Yeah, we'll do a okay. speed round. What's the best compliment you have received? Go. Oh my gosh, I don't know. Um, okay, I'll go. Uh, tell me. Uh, you were very seasoned. Very seasoned? Mm -hmm. uh, best compliment? In regards to performing, not like <laughs> after sex. <laughs> no one's ever well. complimented me on sex. <laughs> okay. um, I would say recently someone at a bar uh who i guess likes my tunes said that they were intimidated by my talent which Ooh, i thought was a, okay. a spicy compliment i don't know if it was the most thoughtful but it really struck a chord okay next question uh what do you think victoria's secret is <laughs> i think she's a dude you think she's a dude Pro i think so i think uh, that's her secret i've heard down that that down uh the rumor mill i think maybe she's just a flat earther. We don't know. Moving on. <laughs> it took me for a second. I thought you, when you said flat, all I heard was flat. I was like, flat chested. Oh. Ooh, what awful movie do you love? I have a few. I love uh, Troll 2 and Kung Pao Enter the Fist. And I've never seen Troll 2. Oh, you got to see it. It's awful, but you'll love it. Oh, everyone, okay. everyone I know that's seen it, they're like, it is the worst, best movie. It is. It is. Um, I've probably said it before, but you know what? I'm going to say it again because I stick by it. Uh, from Justin to Kelly, it is the movie musical that was made after the first season of American Idol when Kelly Clarkson won and Justin yeah. Guarini, the uh, runner-up, they did uh, a beach musical movie. What? And it's fucking terrible, but it's so fun to watch and they have <laughs> no chemistry whatsoever. I love that. Mm-hmm. I think movie night with the sister yeah, wives. I would I would watch that. Okay. Um which celebrity do you get mistaken for and or 
who do you wish you would get mistaken for? <laughs> Can I read that right? Oh, I get it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay. Who do you get mistaken or like? Who do you okay? Who do you get mistaken for? Yeah, and who would you like to get mistaken for? Look, I do not have a story like this, but I will say my mom. She was uh, on a vacation in Mexico. She got mistaken for a celebrity there. Okay. And got into like a huge fancy club for free since everyone thought she was a celebrity. Who was it? Um, I forget. What was she in? I really can't tell you. I really don't remember. Wow, but way my, to drop the ball on the story. <laughs> my mom has a very ethnically ambiguous look, so it really same. It could have been <laughs> a uh, maybe it was a Mexican actress. I'm not sure they were in Mexico. Uh, but that night, David Hasselhoff asked her to dance at this club like a million times, and she got to the point where she started turning him away. Wow, hot, 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 juicy gossip. Um. Well, I've had people tell me. That I look like Andy Dick. That didn't feel good. Uh, yeah, I'm so do you, sorry. Do you know who Andy Dick is? No, I just don't like the name. So. <laughs> Google it, and I, and you'll see. I, he's he's a comedian, and he's funny, but he's not someone you want to look like. So I've gotcha. been told that. Also, when I had my headshots taken recently, the guy uh, who was taking my headshots said I looked like Bradley Cooper. But I think he was just saying that to no, like no, no, no. give me encouragement. You look so, like Bradley Cooper. Keep that one. Show me something, <laughs> girl. Okay, what is your perfect pizza? Mine is Grotto's Pizza from Delaware. What? It, what is Grotto's? It's just some plain pizza, and it's very is good. Is it just cheese? Just cheese, sauce. The whole I thing. love... Uh, you know what? As soon as we finish here, I'm probably going to get two slices of Oof. cheese. I just love cheese pizza. Yeah, it's fantastic. It's That's all you need. I mean, you can put other crap on there, but just some good cheese pizza. And you know what? I like Domino's, so... Like, I my like Domino's, too. The crust? Forget about it. Thin? Uh, I don't mind a little puff to my crust. Okay. All right. I like the thin crust because it makes me feel healthier. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Let me check the time real quick. Okay. We have a minute and a half. <laughs> all right. All right. Speed. Okay. Super speed. Um, which game have you spent the most hours playing? Uh, when I did play video games, it was The Sims. Mine was uh, N64, Kirby, and then GameCube Animal Planet. Yes, I know both of them. If you were, imp <laughs> <laughs> if you were imprisoned and were allowed only one book to read, what would you choose and why? Oh, this is so good. Um, mine would be, it's called The Irresistible... Irresistible Revolution. It's written by my favorite activist. It's just a good read. Okay. Um, I don't read. Um, so... <sighs> so you make podcasts. I would... If magazines was an option, I'd go there. But, like, otherwise, I would just, I don't know, hang myself so I wouldn't have to read. Um, all right. The hot ladies, right? <laughs> Do I? Oh, yeah. I want that, I want that hot playboy. Uh, where is Waldo? I feel like he's retired in San Francisco. Up my butt. <laughs> all right, next question. If a hand reaches out of your butt and waves at me, I'm going to be freaked out. 20 seconds. Where are you going? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, where are you going? I am going to rule the world, baby. Where are you going? I'm going to go to Brooklyn Pizza 2. It's their second location. That's where I'm getting my two slices when we nice. are done here. Right, let's okay. do one more. Ah! That's it. It's done. We did it. That was fantastic. All right, let's see how many questions we got through. One, one. two... Three, four, four five, six, six, seven. Six. So seven. Th thirteen. 13. Oh my god. That's Lucky thirteen. Good. Lucky thirteen. Oh my god. I okay. really like that number. So this is your platform. Promote okay. whatever you want to. Okay. Take it away. Hold on, I'm gonna get comfortable. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, I would say I just uh, I hope everyone gets an opportunity to listen to Spirit Fear. Uh, if you just Google search, no, just say listen. Don't yeah. Get an opportunity. <laughs> no, listen to listen it. Listen to Spirit Fear. I put a lot of my heart into it. It's some emotional music. Um, you can find it on the internet, kind of anywhere. If you just do a good old Google search. Mm -hmm. um, and the other thing, I'm social media. Where can people follow you? Or do oh, you yeah, want them I'm to follow on you? On social media, at uh, Heather Cook started the Beatles mm -hmm. on Instagram, Facebook. 
uh, dot com slash Heather Cook Music or my website heathercookclub.com. And I didn't know you had a website. I got a big fancy website. Oh my god! Okay. And the last thing I want to say is that so I put all my music up for free. Uh huh. So instead of donating me money if you decide to purchase the record. I want to encourage people to donate to Friendship Park uh, at friendshippark.org. It is a park that's bi-national where people on the Mexican side of the border and uh, the American side of the border can meet um, during, on the weekends. Uh It's the only time they have uh, to really be reunited with their families for a little bit of time sometimes. Oh, that's really cool. Uh, I visited there back in January. It was really life-changing. And I think everyone should donate to that park because what they're doing is really important. And what is it again? It's uh, friendshippark.org. Okay. Well, thank you so much for coming first. What? (laughs) Wait, there's (laughs) so many things wrong with that. Uh, Thanks so Uh, much for having me. Uh, And everybody... Come see the Sister Wives Sketch Group May 14th Mm -hmm. at the People's Improv Theater. Will this show be out by then? If not, we have a shizzle ton of shows coming up. Yeah, we have other shows. Huh? (laughs) We have other shows. Yeah, we have a bunch of shows coming up in June. Well, check us out. We're supposed to be getting a website. I don't know if that's going to be up and running by the time this comes out. But uh, Facebook, (laughs) Ford's uh, Sister Wives Sketch. Uh, that's our Facebook and also Instagram. And Instagram. Yeah, uh, thanks, Blur. Thank you so much. And to close, yeah. I'm going to uh, say goodbye in a traditional Mexican way. I'm waiting. Aloha. <laughs> <laughs> You're canceled. I need help.